Good afternoon, Bianca. How have you been? Hey, uh, I've been great. I just finished my biweekly practice test and my score went up by four points, which is great. That's fantastic. Congratulations. I'm really glad that you're starting to see some improvement. So all that hard work is really starting to pay off. So for the plan today, I'm thinking that we just start with a quick content check of amino acids. We'll go through some practice questions to see if there's anything that you were struggling with. Uh, how does that all sound to you? Uh, that sounds great. I definitely have a couple of things that I wanted to go over. <laughs> okay, great. Let's get into it. So during our last session, we noticed that amino acids were a weakness that just needed shoring up. So let's just see how the practice and the homework went. Take a crack at this question. I think I got it. I think that the answer is B. Okay, so how did you land on B? So I practiced what we talked about and figured out what the question was really about, which it is about hydrophobic and hydrophilic amino acids, and then predicted my answer from that. Great. And so what makes B perfect compared to the other answers? Um, well, a, C, and D are all nonpolar and therefore hydrophobic amino acids. And I knew that arginine was polar. Nice. Okay. So just a quick recap then. What makes arginine polar? Um, it's our group has the guanidino group with the nitrogens and oxygens, which is electronegative. Perfect. So those flashcards are really starting to pay off. Was there anything that you came across between this meeting and the last meeting that's giving you some trouble? Actually, yes. I saw the most confusing question yesterday. Let me pull it up and show you. This question gave me a lot more trouble than the last one. I saw this on my practice test and I got super overwhelmed and just had to guess. Am I supposed to know what a Fenton reaction is? You know what? It's totally okay to be struggling right now. This just means that we found an area to work on. So this is a super common trap that the AAMC will throw at you. They'll try to confuse you purposely by giving you new information that you've never even seen before. This is basically a long way for me to say, no, you don't need to know what a Fenton reaction is. So what type of words do you recognize in the question stem? Well, I can figure out what a hydroxyl radical is, and I know that PUFAs are just a type of membrane lipid. So now let's turn our attention to the Fenton equation. Whenever we're seeing charges in an equation, what should we immediately be thinking about, especially when the charge is on a metal? Um, not for uh, maybe a redox reaction? Yeah, I think that's a really great prediction. So do any of the answer choices match that theme? Yes, A and B are basically that word for word. Perfect. So let's focus in on those and see if one of those is a good fit for an answer. Just by glancing at the answers, does anyone jump out as correct right away? No. Yeah, not really for me either. So let's break down what's happening in the reaction. What do you think will be more favorable, the hydroxyl radical to accept another electron or to give it to PUFA? Probably give it to the PUFA. So if the PUFA receives an electron, what is happening to it based on an oil rig? It must be becoming reduced. Exactly. Nice job. So while this question was pretty abstract and one of the harder ones you see, it becomes much more manageable when you stop, breathe, and just focus on answering what you actually do know. So great work today, Bianca. I'm seeing a lot of improvement in how you're tackling the questions from both content and strategy perspective. Before we meet again on Wednesday, I suggest continuing to practice the highlighting technique on cars using the included AAMC passages. I'll send you a recap email with everything that we talked about and what to work on before our next meeting. Do you have any final questions before we head out? Uh, thank you so much. And no, I think you've answered everything that I need to know for now. But if I do come up with anything, I'll be sure to send you an email. Okay, perfect. So have a great rest of your day. Okay, thanks. You too. Bye. Bye.